This is my prototype ROV control system. I'm using a PS2 controller to control the movement and servos and relays on the ROV. On the surface, I'm going to use an Arduino Uno to interface with the PS2 controller. And that sends data over a Cat5 Ethernet line using RS-422, which is a long distance serial protocol. I'm using the MAX 488E IC integrated circuit to switch the levels. So you have RS-232 here on the Arduino, and then that chip switches it to RS-422. On the other side, I have another chip to convert it back to RS-232. And then I'm going to be using a Arduino Pro Mini. This is an Uno, but because it's what I had on hand, but in the actual design, I'll be using a Pro Mini because it's a lot smaller than the Uno. Uh, I'm using about 170 feet of Cat5e solid core here just to test. And then also, because I don't have any of my ESCs or motors yet, I'm just using a couple LEDs. So you have the left motor, right motor, and the vertical. And each LED is a direction, forward, reverse, forward, reverse for all of them. So once I power this on here, we get the LED flashing at 10 hertz, which means no communication. And then once I hit start, that will enable the ROV, and this Arduino will start sending communication. And then that blinks at 1 hertz which means there's good communication. And then to control the ROV, all you have to do is move the buttons up, down, up, down, like so. You can do If you want to turn, you just do opposite directions. And then for the verticals, I'm using the triangle and X button. So you hit the triangle to go up, down, like so. Uh, this these uh, integrated circuits actually can do both ways transmitting and receiving so you could actually send you could have this Arduino sending the motor values relay values servo values one way and receive data from say a temperature sensor or something so I plan on probably adding at least a depth sensor maybe temperature and some maybe a gyroscope accelerometer or digital compass or something along those lines. Thanks.